Yeah, I didn't... <clears throat> differences between Orthodoxy and Roman Catholicism, I didn't touch on the filioque or the... Um, um, or the Pope, the papacy. Um, yeah, those things are given. Um, what Red Oxen um, elaborates on, I kind of figured all that was a given, but I'm trying to stress the deep, the, the way of thinking. I mean, there was a split since um, Augustine got in. I mean, by the fourth, uh, <coughs> by the fourth and fifth centuries, really by the 5th, that's the 400s, almost nobody in the West could speak Greek, and almost nobody in the East could speak Latin. Um, we have no systematic doctrine, dogma, or theology. Uh, yeah, people speaking in gibberish and all this kind of um, stuff that's not in orthodoxy. Well, if you're like me and um, you go to like uh, like an extreme ethnic church where they're speaking in a different language, it might be, you know, the term, it's all Greek to me. Um, modern Greek, which is different from classical Greek, which is different from Koine Greek, um, the... Uh, and then there's the liturgical Greek. Um, but yeah, we don't have the, the, the blood sacrifice to appease the wrath of God. Um, it's uh, classical Christianity. Um, no original sin. Original sin is a term that... It, it's like the rapture, you know? It's. We have to say we don't believe in original sin. We believe the world is fallen. Now, this does, this does not imply creationism. Just like creationism is a buzzword, we do believe God created the universe. Yes, but six thousand year old Earth, that kind of stuff. No. Um. The uh, people. Uh, inheriting the guilt of Adam and stuff like that that's no I mean that that comes with original sin that's we have we have to say we reject it um, and uh, I have probably 15 videos on God heaven and hell being the same you have to understand um the word hell is the name of a Nordic goddess um, that got applied to the underworld of the Anglo-Saxon and um, then they used that when they translated Gehenna, Tartaros, Hades, and Sheol. Sheol mm -hmm. is the pit or the common grave. It also has an idea of just kind of a dusty room where you're sitting around, kind of a, the nether world. Um, Many try to say Hades translates into that, into the New Testament. They do translate it as Hades, but Hades has another connotation. Tartaros is the deepest part of Hades. This is using Greek, the Greek mythology. But again, um, none of our beliefs are attached to that. Um, so Tartaros would be the, you know, the, the place of uh, torment and stuff like that. And Gehenna was uh, a valley, a trash pile. It was also the place where centuries before Moloch worship was carried out. Um, uh, if you look at um, when God chooses to appear in forms, not appear in himself, um, manifestations or epiphanies, um, the pillar of fire, the mountain of fire, people crying, get back, you know, let Moses speak to him, when we, you know, let, let us, you know, not, because we'll die if we keep hearing it, his voice, or come near him. And then New Testament, the, uh, the apostles have fire on them, and are, you know, overjoyed, um, 
can look at Jeremiah or uh, Isaiah who will go before God and it will either burn up the chaff or refine away the dross from the silver. So there will be a refining fire. And it's almost like a mirror. We're judged by our heart. It's like being someone uh, wiser men than me have said. It's like uh, God is love. Being in the presence of true love and truly hating it is hell. Being in the presence of true love and absolutely loving it is heaven. That's an oversimplification. Um, but that's why there's parables used and there's examples because when comparing this world to that which stands apart from space and time, uh, <laughs> can't really do, you know, you, you can never get the language right. Which again is why we oppose the West's systematic doctrine, dogma, and theology. And it's even the way of thought and approaching the world. And um, I'll go into why we don't proselytize um, and the difference between proselytizing and evangelizing, um, which are two different, very, very different things. In the West, they mean the same thing. To us, they are two very, very different things.